Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to level your enchanting skill. There are three actions you can perform which will level the skill. Enchanting items, disenchanting items, and recharging enchanted items using soul gems. We're only going to worry about the first two because recharging items gives you very little XP. Now before you start doing any enchanting, you'll want to make sure you're getting the maximum amount of XP possible. Firstly, you'll need to activate the Mage Stone, one of the three Guardian Stones you pass at the start of the game. This will make your enchanting skill level 20% faster. Then you'll want to get the Well Rested buff by sleeping in a bed you own or at an inn. This will give you a further 10% boost. If your character is married, you can get the Lover's Comfort buff by sleeping with your spouse. This will give you a 15% boost. First, let's look at disenchanting. Before you can enchant items, you need to learn enchantments, and you do this by disenchanting magical items at an arcane enchanter. Disenchanting gives you lots of XP, but destroys the item in the process. You'll want to pick up all the enchanted items you come across as you play through the game so you can disenchant them later. The downside is, once you've learned an enchantment, you can no longer disenchant other items with the same effect. This means that you can't rely on disenchanting alone to max out your skill, and you'll need to start enchanting items yourself. This is where enchanting differs from smithing and alchemy. With those skills, the amount of XP you get depends on the value of the item you make. But with enchanting, the XP is always the same regardless of the item's value or the strength of the enchantment. In order to enchant items, you'll need plenty of filled soul gems, so be sure to hoard any you collect as you play. You can fill empty soul gems yourself, but it's much quicker and easier to just buy filled ones. A quick tip if you do fill soul gems yourself, if you've wasted a grand or black soul gem by accidentally filling it with a smaller soul, you can empty it again by dropping it on the ground. When you pick it up again, the gem will be empty. Because we're not too worried about the value of the items we're making, petty, lesser and common soul gems will do just fine. You should keep your grand and black soul gems for making gear you plan to use. As for the items you enchant, they can just be any old rubbish you pick up. If you're leveling smithing, you can do this in tandem with enchanting by smithing yourself gear to enchant. You'll either want to make jewellery, which will give you lots of smithing XP, or items that require very few materials, such as iron daggers or hide braces. I do have a video on how to level smithing, so if you're interested, I'd recommend checking that out. So, the process is basically this. Travel around all the towns and cities buying your filled soul gems and smithing materials, smith a bunch of items, enchant those items, and then travel around the map again, selling the items and using the money to buy more soul gems and materials. If you're not averse to using exploits, you can get lots of soul gems and items to disenchant by looting the hidden merchant chests. I won't cover these in detail here, but the most well-known one is located in Dawnstar. The chest is invisible, so you'll need to come to this spot and look around a bit until the prompt appears to search the chest. The chest belongs to Akari, one of the travelling Khajiit merchants, and its contents will be restocked every 48 hours. You may need to speak to Akari first before the chest will refresh. If you don't want to wait 48 hours, you can take whatever items you want from the chest, find Akari, save your game, attack her, and then reload. This will force her inventory, i.e. the chest, to refresh so you can loot it again. This trick also works on any other merchants. You can get a huge amount of enchanting XP through staff enchanting. The Staff Enchanter is located in Neloth's house in Tel Mithrin on Solstheim, and you'll have to do a quest for him before you can use it. In order to enchant staves, you'll need an unenchanted staff, which you can buy from Neloth, and a heartstone, which you can mine from heartstone deposits. As well as good old-fashioned grinding, there are a couple of other ways to level your enchanting. There are three enchanting trainers in the game that you can pay to level your skill. 
You can train five levels per character level and the price will go up significantly the higher you go. The trainers are Sergius Torianus at the College of Winterhold, Hamal at the Temple of Debella in Markarth, and Neloth, who I just mentioned. You can gain one level in enchanting by completing the quest Panthea's Flute. To get this quest, you need to become a full member of the Bard's College and then speak to Panthea, who will ask you to retrieve her flute from a cave. There are also a number of skill books that will give you a level in enchanting. They are a catalogue of weapon enchantments, a catalogue of armour enchantments, a tragedy in black, enchanter's primer, and Twin Secrets. You can also gain five levels in enchanting by obtaining the Ogma Infinium via the quest Discerning the Transmundane and choosing the Path of Magic when you read it. Well guys, I hope you found that helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, there's a link for that in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.